Hey guys. Alright, so you guys want to know how to root the Samsung Captivate? No problem. I got an easy to do list here. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. I got a list with all the links that you could go to and actually download everything. Um, I am running Windows 7 64 bit. So if you're running a 32 bit Windows XP or something like that, it might be a little bit different with the drivers, but the rest of the process is the same. So um, <clears throat> let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the Samsung Captivate drivers. I do have the link there. Um, it's directly from Samsung.com. You can download those. Then uh, what we're going to do next is um, on the phone, after you're done installing the drivers, make sure the phone's not connected. We're going to go to the phone, and uh, we're going to set up in the settings. Go to Applications. Okay and uh, development. You're going to make sure USB debugging is is uh, checked. Once you're done with that and the drivers are installed, you're going to go ahead and plug in the phone. And then we're going to open this up, make sure um, uh, right here in the settings is that uh, you see USB debugging connected. And then um, you're also going to want to turn on USB storage and then mount to the computer and once you're done with that it's gonna pop up on your computer but we're not gonna go there just yet we're gonna go to xdadevelopers.com and um, download the root file and um, once you're done downloading that I can show you exactly where it is it's on the first post of the link I'm gonna give you um, it's the first post and you see where attached file is so you're gonna download this file to your computer and uh, once you're done downloading that you're going to rename it to update.zip all lowercase. Okay? You could work everything in one folder. So I got a folder here with a bunch of stuff. So I got the Android SDK, the Galaxy 64 bit drivers, and regular drivers. So once you um, are done getting uh, the root file, go ahead and um, copy that file over to your phone. Now, Go to uh, you know your computer. This happens to be my phone right here. Um, removable disk I. Now this is the root SD folder. Okay, this is where you're going to want to put the update file. See, I got the update file there. It's the zip file. Put that in the main directory. You don't have to go to the SD folder. Just put it in there. Okay. Once you're done with that, um, we're going to go ahead and then get the Android SDK. So. I have the link directly to it right there. So if you do go to um, Android.com, I mean, uh, sorry, Android.com and then uh, SDK, you're going to go to here, download the correct one. If you're running Windows, download the Android SDK R06 for Windows. Copy that. All right, so I got that in my folder. You're going to extract this, and if you can see all the files in here, um, Android-SDK Windows. I copied all this to my uh, C drive. So if we go over to my C drive, I have Android SDK, that's what I named the folder. And I put all the files into here. Okay? The biggest thing we want is in the tools folder. You're going to see ADV. That's the main program. Okay? So once we have all the Android stuff copied over into this, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to your start. Okay, if you're running Windows 7, just type CMD. If you're running Windows XP, go to Start, Run CMD, run this. Okay, now you got to make sure you got to go to the right folder. See how this says um, user slash John? So I usually do CD, which is change directory, C colon slash Android, Android SDK slash tools. Okay, hit enter. Now I'm in that directory. Now, this is where we're going to do the ADB uh, reboot recovery. Okay. And then once you hit enter on that, you're going to see your phone restart. Once it's done restarting, you're going to see a, a menu with, um, it's just going to be a black menu with a couple options. So on your phone, you're going to use um, on the volume, press volume down you're gonna to go to where it says reinstall packages after you you're highlighted on that press the power button and um, it's gonna install you're gonna see some scrolling text and stuff and uh, then it's gonna reboot and um, 
to know you got a successful route you're gonna look at your phone once it's done you're gonna see this program called super user permission and to show you that it works I have Android me and it says um, it's running as root right now so that's how you root the phone now to install other programs like um, like I'm gonna show you here I have uh, the Sirius XM okay um, this is pretty simple as well <clears throat> once you uh, you gotta get the APK file so Sirius actually sends you that to the email or at least that's how they did it for me well once you download that file put it into your um, into uh, your Android slash root um, I'm sorry Android SDK slash tools folder this is where we're gonna put the APK file once you have the file in here go back over to your console okay then you're gonna do ABD install and then the package name which I believe it was Sirius XM uh, APK and then once you hit enter it's gonna scroll down with some text and it's gonna say completed and um, you should have it on your phone All right can I do right there now if you uh, if you run into any problems just to make sure if um, you could always come to your console and do ADB slash I mean uh, space devices hit enter and you can see right here that I have my i8976 connected which is um, the Samsung Captivate so that's a quick overview on how to do everything I hope I um, helped you out a little bit any questions leave comments rate it do whatever you want I'm also gonna be doing some um, how to program stuff for the Android I actually got my first application the hello world installed and running which is not much of a, a feat but it's just the beginning of something um, so yep that's about it enjoy if you have any questions um, just uh, feel free to ask me and I'll help you out later